just a minute, I'm going to start my recording. Sorry you've missed some of the the Tato live show. I forgot to start my recording, so this will be a briefer version of what um, normally happens at the Tato live. So if you didn't get a chance to see it live, then you're obviously going to miss out on some of the rich and very deep discussion that we had before I started to record. So um, The uh, next article that I want to talk about is the only 7% of teachers believe in standardized tests. Um, the standardized test, we talked about this briefly yesterday, and I have got some f Twitter feedback from um, some of the people on my Twitter feed that talk about standardized test testing and where it's used. And the standardized testing is a political move in order for the politicians to try to understand what is happening in the classroom and to try to standardize it so that there is a certain level of achievement that every student will gain through public education. I'm not too sure what exactly that that entails or whether it's a good or a bad thing but I think it's all money driven more than than education driven. The standardized test, when teachers start teaching to the standardized test, I think you take some of the passion out of uh, education and out of the ability for teachers to do a good job as a teacher. So it's not in my mind the best method of uh, moving education forward or doing a good job of education in the technological age. I think curriculum is also one of the handcuffing elements that the political aspect of education has to use in order to uh, standardize education and to make sure everyone is getting a certain level of education but I think it also dummies down and asks less than what our students are capable of achieving um, so that's just my uh, non-political view or political view depending on how you look at it. The next one um, is YouTube to the rescue and I'm not too sure why I posted this but it's kind of interesting and I the reason why I put it on there is my in my life I find YouTube to be one of the most valuable tools that I use and when I say in my life I'm ta not talking about my education life I'm talking about my life at home so the other day I had to um, reprogram something in one of the technological things we had in 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 the house at home and I couldn't figure out how to do it and I went directly to YouTube rather than going to look for the manual. There was also an issue with our washing machine. The uh, the liquid detergent wasn't flowing through very very nicely and so what I did is I went online, found the actual product online, went to the manual online and then went to the in-depth method of cleaning it and cleaned it in about five ten minutes which would have taken me much longer if I didn't have access to YouTube. So I really use YouTube a lot when it comes to learning how to do things. When I tiled my bathroom I learned how to tile, um, do tiling in a shower and around the bathtub um, by watching YouTube videos. I watched about 18 YouTube videos and I went for it. Um, to date which was I did that about two years ago and I haven't had any tiles fall off the wall so kudos to YouTube. I did start this discussion off and I would like to um, this live discussion off and I will repeat it sorry for the people that are here live but I did want to talk a little bit about the migration that we made from WebCT to Moodle and I wanted to pass out kudos to Ryan Hauber and to Lisa Coquette who are the office staff who uh, did a lot of the work in order to make that happen and so good job guys it's great it's up and running I think the teachers are now starting to realize why we actually did the migration and why the new uh, learning management system Moodle is better than the old web CT was. It's like going from a uh, a 1945 car to a 19 to a 2012 car. There's quite a difference between the two learning management systems and I really like what the Moodle is allowing us to do and some of the automations that we're putting in there and some of the cool uh, adaptations that we're making to Moodle such as the uh, automatic report card going out every two weeks, the attendance uh, emails being sent out to the parent and to the child when they're not active and those type of things. So I really like the fact that um, that has happened for us in the Moodle thing. So kudos to the office staff, to the to the registrars, to um, uh, 
our professional development team and to uh, Ryan Hauber for the amount of effort they've been putting in to make this work. I'd also like to thank our um, publicly thank all our teachers in the cyber school because the migration was not easy on them. It did require them to do a lot of work, but we are uh, happened. It happened right on schedule, and <clears throat> we now have the students all going in there. And within about two months, we'll be able to shut off the old WebCT server and go full time into Moodle land. Okay, the last article that I would like to speak to, and then I'm going to ask people to introduce themselves online here and see if they have any questions. But the last article I have, so those of you that are online, start uh, posting in the social stream a little bit about uh, who you are and if you have any questions that you would like me to speak to while I'm uh, here on Tato Live. <clears throat> the st three styles of online teaching. It's a good article to read. It, um, we did this in the in the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School a few years back. We had four different styles of online teaching and uh, if you actually go on to Tato and run a search you'll be able to find those four uh, levels of online teaching. This This one has three um, it starts off the same way we did, um, and that's to reproduce what happens in your on on your face-to-face -face classroom and put it onto the the digital world and onto the internet. So <clears throat> it does speak to all three of the different uh, styles, and it's worth reading. And I appreciate the fact that it was posted because it's an interesting read. And so if you get a chance, you should go and check that out. Okay, I notice we have three people uh, online and viewing. Uh, does anyone have any questions or anything they would like me to speak about or anything like that? As I sit here and look at the screen and try to entice you to ask a question. Anything? Does anybody have anything? Anybody want to ask me something? Come on. Come on. Type it in. I'll sit here. I'm waiting. Come on. Ask the question. I know you're dying to ask. <clears throat> Tomorrow is going to be a good day for us. Uh, the whole teaching uh, community gets to see Sir Ken tomorrow. He's going to talk about creativity in school and how passion is important. If you haven't seen any of his videos, uh, it's Sir Ken Robinson. It's worth uh, going to the YouTube and watching some of those. There's also some TED videos. If you don't, if you're not a a fan of TED, by all means, go check it out. TED. TED um, videos are awesome and have a bunch of learning tools on there which are great. So, Teach Hub has news that YouTube has a school friendly video type. Oh, yes, hello, welcome. Um, the, YouTube has done quite a bit in the last little while with their attempt to try to show YouTube in the classroom and so what they've tried to do is they've made these separate silos which are just educational videos. TED has done the same thing in the last little while and has done TED education and it's trying to produce some um, material that can be used in the classroom as well. So, And I do appreciate that uh, that discussion. The Teach Hub, um, there's also methods of, uh, there's all sorts of sites that it will allow you to download a uh, YouTube video and break it up into different sections so if there's a video that you like and you don't want to show the whole thing you can get in there and break it up a little bit and so some of those sites you can also find on the on Tato blog so if you're looking for those uh, sometimes it's it's easier because of bandwidth issues and all sorts of other stuff is to find the YouTube video um, take it break it down into the small little clip that you want to use in your classroom rather than showing a five minute video break it down into the 30 seconds or the 10 seconds that you want to show your class um, then import that directly to your hard drive and then from your hard drive run it because it may be faster than your internet connection depending on what you're using so I do appreciate the uh, the question and the, the statement that you made so thank you very much um, is there anything else out there that we want to talk about today or is this just lazy Thursday and nobody has anything to say if that's the case what I would like to do is sign off and thank everybody for watching this uh, Tato live show. I'm sorry I forgot to start the recording so if you're watching this after the fact you missed all the best stuff. Next time try to show up to the live show and you'll find it's much more exciting than the recording. Talking to you. Anyways, thank you very much you guys for joining the live show.